These old wooden spoke wheels were here when I bought the place 35 years ago. They're about to rot down, but evidently it's part of an old wagon, just from the looks of the, of the frame here. These are the twin calves that were born about a week ago. Their mother had such a big udder, and she is having no problems feeding them both. And they're both pretty good sized calves too. But they stay together and stay right with their mother most of the time. Both little calves, the lighter colored one is, I think maybe it's half deer the way it can run. It's so fast. That dark black one is scouring just a little bit. They're going to the mother. She is such a tremendous milker that it's really not too surprising. There's the mother of the twins, and if you'll remember, she uh, retained her placenta for several days too long, and I darted her with oxytocin, and she passed it within 48 hours. Seems like I'm constantly counting cows, but this time of year, to make sure that everything's where it needs to be and no cows are off having trouble calving, uh, I count them a lot. Cows are out of mineral at this place already. We just put out 50 pounds last week, but we've had a bunch of rain, and usually in the spring when it rains, they consume a lot more mineral than normal. Looks like somebody's been wading in deep water here. Guess we better head back home and get a bag of mineral for these cows down here since they're completely out. Most of the cows are headed toward the mineral feeder now. I'm gonna take just a couple of pieces of baler twine here and drag this mineral feeder back up there to where it belongs. Normally I'd pull it myself, but I'm nursing a couple of cracked ribs right now, so I'm taking the easy way out. Get him up, Lee. Get him. Get him. Hey. Atta boy. Come on. Get him. Lou had to help me get these uh, cattle here back up in the corral. Got a bull that's not where he's supposed to be. Good boy, Lou. Good boy. last few cows to make our numbers come out right. We drive by the tiny house that my wife and I constructed a few years ago. She thought it would make a great retreat. Turns out it's a nice little hunting cabin too. In this time of the spring, when the foliage leaves out everywhere, it's much harder to find all the cows and calves. That's why we take so much time trying to find them all. Sometimes when my cow count comes up a little short, I even have to get out and walk in the edge of the woods in order to get a better count of them or find maybe one that's laying down. Okay, they're all here.
with new calves on the ground, I have to be extra careful before I drive through tall weeds. Wouldn't want to run over a newborn. Checked cows a couple hours ago, and this one cow was off in the edge of the woods by herself. Looked like maybe she was thinking about going into labor. And I think maybe she's had it. We're not quite up to her yet, but it looks like she might be licking on something. I see remnants of afterbirth out the the backside, so hopefully she's had it with no trouble. Yep, I see some ears moving. Looks like both mother and baby are fine. We're gonna leave them alone. Recent rains have got the streams flowing and the grass growing, a favorite time of year. My wife wants some landscape rocks, so better pick up some of these here and take to the house. If you notice the fly tags attached to my boots are there for a reason. They're the best thing I know to keep ticks off of you this time of year. They last all summer long. I believe that's a young copperhead snake right there. Don't want to get too close to him. Come right there. Come on. Let's call it a day.